Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroote speaking from DQ, DDD.ca. Today's lesson is intermediate and it is about multi drawings. What I'm going to do, I already have an elevation up here, but I actually want to have uh, maybe even two elevations on the same sheet. Um, I have other lessons that I'll be doing and uh, I'm, what I normally do is I start a brand new drawing. So let's get that started right now. New and drawing. And I'm going to do a save as. So what I'm doing is creating a base drawing. The base drawing is normally brand new. So I'm just going to click on here. Now they actually had, I'm using the soft plan samples here. I'm actually going to call it uh, something very specific. Um, I guess I'll call it um, a uh, elevation. Uh, how about something very specific, like for example, front and rear elevation. And I'm actually going to call this base drawing. Might as well. And of course, you should name your drawings properly. I'm just doing this again for illustration purposes. So I actually have the blank screen coming up. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is now I'm inside my blank drawing. You can sort of see the name of the drawing, which is a front rear elevation base drawing. So I'm going to file and multi-drawing and multi-drawing. What I want to do is I want to enable. So you always have to make sure whenever something is grayed inside of your paper, you always have to click on something to enable it. In this case, I want to enable that and add in my front, add in my rear. On the right hand side, you're going to see the three drawings. You're going to see the front, our very first one, our base drawing that we've made, and the two that we added in. Now, if I actually just clicked on OK right now, what will happen? I'll also show you the uh, elevations that will show up basically be on top of each other. Now this gray line that goes around is the actual paper edge. So if I clicked on Control G, Control G will kick up the multi-drawing menu. And there it is. Move that in play. <clears throat> okay, uh, what I want to do before I do anything else, I'm going to add in the border. There is no actual order of things in here, um, but I want to just add in a border and have my two elevations ready to go before I get started on where I'm going to move everything. I like putting on the border itself. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I clicked on System Drawings, which is very different from the drawings in the current folder. System drawings are basically drawings that were already done by SoftPlan, and they're kind of hidden away uh, underneath his system drawings. And you could actually use uh, their borders. I myself chose to redraw my own, but um, I just wanted to show you what the Ella, what the borders look like. So I actually have the borders in there. So let's click on OK. So we're gonna watch. Uh, uh, look at the uh, the mess of things that are on here. So I'm going to zoom in here so everyone can see the mess. Okay, the border itself, let me zoom in here, is made for 11 by 17 and it is at a uh, quarter inch. So uh, I prefer to actually have a border that is the proper size. Obviously our elevations are way too big, but if we actually reduce the size of the elevations, we can actually take um, the scale of those and make them literally half. So half of quarter inch is one eighth. So let's control that. I'm gonna hit control G again. Up comes our menus. I'm gonna leave our border and at one full scale one 
but I'm um, I'm going to take our front elevation and put it in at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and change the position. It's going to take a second to do. So what's going to happen is that it's actually going to not reduce the size of the elevation. It's actually reducing the sheet that the elevation is on. So you can sort of see the elevation is much, much, much smaller. So I'll just check, click over to the uh, left of the sheet. The reason being is because I want to take my rear elevation and do the exact same thing. 0.5 and then position. Now you could take this uh, front elevation, move it to the side, and then merge it with the rear elevation. But in this case, I just wanted to have, I just wanted to have the two drawings up on the screen. So choose there. Um, side note: the uh, the gray border is actually showing the uh, gray border of the front elevation. We did not change the size of the gray border, the uh, drawing limits, to the border or the rear elevation. All right, so let's zoom in here. It looks like I could probably still do some moving around, and I think I may. Um, when you're inside the multi-drawing, so you can do hit Control G, or you can just click on the arrow here, and again, no matter what uh, drawing you're in, you'll actually change only that particular drawing. So if I were to click on the rear elevation, it will only change the things inside the rear elevation. So if I click on rear elevation right now, and I clicked on move, and I box in the entire floor plan, the only thing that's going to move is the rear elevation. So, even though I did box in the whole thing, but that's because the rear elevation is there. I would not block move the um, floor plans because you may need to do the 3Ds in the future. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, click on here and I'll talk about the uh, why you shouldn't move multi drawings around. Okay, so I have my um, my rear elevation up. Uh, looks like I have a little space on this side, so I'm actually going to move my border now. Uh, change the position, I should say. So 11 by 17, change the position, and I'm going to move the border over a little bit. Looks like I still need to manipulate a few things. And like I said before, it's it's difficult to actually try to get the elevations happening here. Um, looks like a th the page size needs to be either bigger, uh, min maybe not even using 11 by 17, maybe it should be 18 by 24 or 24 by 36. Since I really, really want to have these on 11 by 17, I'm just going to force it in there. So uh, right now I'm looking at the notes of here, so I'm just going to click on um, the notes itself. F12 and move them into place like so. And F12. And I might as well adjust that note to face the other way. Right justification. And there we go. Okay, I guess I could clean that up, but I'm actually approaching my 10 minute mark. So, um, if I were to go to print it, it would actually print to scale. Good. If you have any requests whatsoever, how to do anything inside SoftPlan, please email me at softplantv.ca.